All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to episode four of 1,000 to 1 million challenge. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of our recent transactions and new, new acquisitions that I have in this portfolio. So basically, today I want to start out with some new ETFs that we've been adding to the portfolio and which are high yield ETFs that I think are pretty exciting. And we'll see how they do over the long term. So, what we have here is OARC. Tesla, APLY, and NVDY. And they're coming out with a new fund today that tracks Amazon as well. So what these funds are, are ETFs that are synthetic covered calls, and they yield huge amounts each month, paid every single month, and I'm adding to these positions. So I have about $350 in OARC, $779 in Tesla, $359 in APLY and $343 in NVDY and these are going to be paying monthly and what my strategy is is to make money on my own doing covered calls basically where I'm doing synthetic covered calls which is put credit spreads and call credit spreads so what I have here is if these all expire worthless I'll be making this amount of money in income when at the expiration date if they all go correctly but I want to show you guys the yield max funds here so this here is their website it's kind of a weird website um, you're not that professional in my opinion but maybe as the funds get bigger and they make more income from us investing they will update the website and uh, more traction will come to these ETFs so OARC here has a distribution rate of 39.93% so say you invest 100k, um, you would make 39,000 that year if you held this for the whole entire year and got all the distributions. And these fluctuate every single month. So you can see the Tesla one is distribution rate is 75%. So if you had 100k in here, you'd make $75,000 in one year through dividends. So APLY 34% and VDY is 50%. And this basically, they want volatility in these stocks and that produces the income. So a lot of people on YouTube are saying if the stock, underlying stock falls really badly, then these funds will fall with it and not distribute the same amount. With There's some truth to that, but I think they have downside protection risk as well with these fund strategies because they're selling synthetic calls so they don't actually own the shares I think it, you kind of want so what happens with a covered call is if the fund goes if the share price goes above their call strike then they have to you know counteract it with their other calls but if the share price stays below what their covered call is then they still receive the income so I think Tesla can go down 20 percent and will still get the income for the month that's how I think what will happen but if it doesn't we'll see because I'm adding to these shares as well and this Amazon one is coming out today actually so I'm gonna drop a few hundred into it as well and see how that does over the long term so you can see here in my portfolio we definitely have um, let's see, so we're at about 1000 here, so we have about $2,000 into these ETFs, which will increase my income for the year about another 1000 so I'm going to say about 50%. So I'm going to keep adding to these and make consistent cash flow onto my portfolio and also be using my own option strategies to create the income. So let's see how I did. The past week has not been great for me. I got a little greedy and Tesla and Netflix really hurt this portfolio because I was betting on their earnings and they did drop. So you could see the past week we're down 2.94%. And which isn't which is not bad for trading, you know, high volatile stocks, but at one point the portfolio was up pretty big here. So let's see. Our peak was July 19th at 11 a.m. We we're at about $6500. And now we're down about a thousand bucks. So year to date, 
We're at about 79% still on this portfolio, 2,500. So I think that's pretty good. Still, we're going to see how these options play out. I have a few weeklies here. So Google reports earnings today after hours, and I, hopefully it stays above 120. I think Google is undervalued at this price. And then we have another one expiring this week, which is Meta 280, 275, and Meta right now is at 290. So we'll see how these weeklies play out. And the rest are expiring in August, so we have a little bit of cushion there, but hopefully the market rips higher. And if it doesn't, then I'll start to switch over to call credit spreads. So I have 583 in buying power, so I'll see what I want to do when the market opens today. If I want to add some uh, Amazon yield max funds, or I, I see an opportunity to hop into another put credit spread or call credit spread. So let me know what you guys think of this series. You know, it's not really getting too much traction on YouTube. I'm trying my best to uh, revive the channel a little bit, upload here and there, and uh, get some of that watch time up so we can make this channel into something which is really important, really fun to watch and enjoy. So I'm trying to turn this portfolio you're seeing right here into a million dollars. I don't know how fast I could do it, but I'm definitely going to try. So thank you guys for watching. If you did like this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're over a thousand subs, which I've built up over the years with my Fundrise videos, my M1 Finance videos, and my Robin Hood videos. I've just been deleting them because I wasn't too proud of how they how they were, but now we're going to keep it going and see how we do. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of these funds, these Yield Max funds. I really like them. I know they're very high risk for a lot of income investors, but I'm only 25, so I like to take the risk. And this is a small amount of money. Um, it's all relative, but it's a small amount of money to be playing around with. I wouldn't say gambling. I would say uh, making educated guesses <laughs> on some of these stocks. But yeah, so that's the portfolio update. I might make another one at the end of the week for you guys. And uh, we'll see how it goes with this Google and Meta option. And then the rest of these will expire in August. So, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.